They could be anywhere. Those alien scum. Those red alien scums. When we last left off, Chicken Nugget had been taken over by alien control. He is looking somewhere. Lurking somewhere. But we have other things we have to worry about. Like civilians. And more scum. Where could those scum be hiding? They're not hiding in your teeth, I'll tell you that right now. Get bloody ketchup here. Just take a look around. A lot of humans were shopping today. But the aliens are shopping for humans. Mmm. There's that scum right now. So, let's take out our dental floss. And floss the scum. Nice shot number 25, but you'll have to do it again. Well done. But there could be another one around there. There could be more than two there. High numbers. More importantly, I gotta say, stop saying more importantly. Flying saucers, our new alien opponent. What kind of artificial intelligence do they have? What kind of artificial intelligence does Siegfried have to be such a horrible shot right now? I take that back. Well done, Siegfried. You blasted it away. But was it enough? Is it never enough? It is never enough when you're facing the alien scum. Hello there, would you mind getting out of my way, human? Nothing to fear, humans. XCOM is here. To save you. No, we're not here to save you money. Totally different idea. Not a bad one. But that's not the point. Hmm. Where could they be hiding? In this sector over here? Could they be up in here? I doubt it. Could they be hiding in one of their little tiki rooms? Hmm. Well, Leon's wounded. So let's have 23 take care of that. Leon! Tell us your medikit. To 23. And get yourself recovered. By the fresh man. He was supposed to be called fresh meat. Okay, I suppose freshman is acceptable. But, hmm, there's that traitor. For right now, recovery. That's good. Hmm. You don't need any morale. You really don't need any energy. So I'm saving the rest of the items for another day. And I'll drop that medikit for right now. So our, my aim is decent. Will it be decent enough, though? Siegfried couldn't tell you right now. He's got other things to worry about. Keep an eye on Chicken Nugget. See what he plans to do. Why is he working for the aliens anyway? There's number 20. Number 20 might have something to say about this. Or perhaps not. And I had one more XCOM member I want to move. Sometimes it's hard to scroll by. Who has time units left? Somebody had a full time unit. Ah, Mr. Sharp. In your little lookout corner there.
Nothing yet. So I'm gonna have you flank way over here. Hopefully I haven't used too many time units. Too many for snapshot. We'll see what happens on your next turn. But for right now... Oh my! Did you see what I saw? That's a grenade. That's another grenade. This will result in disaster. It may cause several XCOM members to go berserk. But for now, Leon has become cautious. And two people have died. And Chicken Nugget has lost his marbles and wants to destroy your washer and dryer. And your home. Sheesh. Mmm. One hell of a casualty report. Siegfried, do what you can. Preen would not be a bad option right now. Also, that's a corpse. Also, there's a chance I might be able to revive Leon here. As a corpse. So Leon is dead. Very much dead from two alien hand grenades. Mm. Bloody Ketchup is still alive. And miraculously, unhurt still. I'm sure his feelings are hurt. Morale is looking low. Izo is looking low. He's looking high. He's looking for more alien scums. Yes, I said that with a plural. Number 24. Start heading towards the Sky Ranger, just in case we have to abort. Unlikely, but right now it's looking very grim. And that's not good right now. Do we have anybody with a full time unit bar? 20. Why didn't you do any reaction shots? Shame on you! You should have done reaction shots. Keep you posted there. Do something good. Keep our members alive. Well, they failed to keep the civilians alive. Hmm. Yikes. This is looking very bad for XCOM. Nerobians are panicking in fear. They don't know where to run. They go back and forth. They run into fires. Bloody Ketchup has panicked. Well, there goes my West Flankman. Well, at least he didn't drop his weapon and run off. When we come back, more evil.